Nearly five months after being forced to close down, Russia's last independent TV channel is back on air. The station, known as TV Rain, was blocked just a week into Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Here's Azadeh Mashiri. They were taken off air because of their coverage of the war in Ukraine. But now, months later, Russia's last independent news network is back. Over the next two hours, we will cover the top news of the day. It's a phrase that I haven't uttered in four and a half months. TV Rain, known as Dozhd in Russia, has entered the world of streaming and is now on YouTube from Latvia. That means with a VPN, Russians can once again access the very same coverage that government tried to censure. TV Rain was blocked by authorities back in March, just days after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, because they'd used the one word the government feared most, war. It led to this decision on the 3rd of March. It was the hardest decision in our lives. We've decided to temporarily halt the work of the TV channel. I want to say the word temporarily is important here. We need some time and some strength to breathe and understand how to carry on working. Russia's newly adopted legislation criminalizes calling the invasion of Ukraine anything other than a special military operation. But now, the network has announced that thanks to a broadcasting license from the European Union, TV Rain is able to operate from Latvia, France, the Netherlands and Georgia. How should you talk to people? How should you talk to those who still believe that, that this so-called special military operation is the right thing to do? Um, I don't want to hate these people. I want to understand why they are thinking so. And I want to, I want to talk to them. I, I want to explain them. I want to put the facts um, in front of them. They're hoping that they can reach Russians who may not agree with them. Because of Russia's restrictive new laws, other major independent media outlets have also been forced to either close down or relocate. TV Rain is hoping that despite their new location, they'll still be able to get the facts out to Russia. Azadeh Mashiri, BBC News.